and welcome back to another video and in this one I'm going to be painting brake calipers so I'm going to use two separate methods I'm going to show you my preferred method method one which is taking them off and painting them properly whereas method two going to be on the vehicle it still does fairly good results realistically a lot of people use method two so I'm going to show you the best way to do it in my opinion if these are the sort of projects you enjoy doing, remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm always messing around with something that's VW orientated, operating, modifying, or just messing around. Welcome back. If you've just watched my video on stripping these rear calipers, so these rear calipers pretty much fitted to a lot of VAG range and some other stuff standard Lucas made calipers so in the other video I've stripped out the seals I'm going to give them a little clean because they were binding anyway check out that other video if you feel like you want to strip a caliper apart it makes painting a lot more easier if not you could always mask up the bits so I fully degreased cleaned ran through a lot of wire wheels to bring it up to that so what I'm going to do is mask up the areas that I'm not going to paint and the, then the first couple little coats is going to be with an etch primer so an etch primer has got different acids in there that will help it bond onto the aluminium give that time to dry and then put on the top coat so I've pulled off the other the front calipers I'm going to have all four matching calipers now the only thing I've done is actually pull out the oops wasn't expecting that to happen but anyway the only thing that I pulled out is actually the little rubber grommets come in there so I'll clean them up in the same way with brake cleaner and then run a wire wheel through the inside of there just to make sure that, that that's a serviceable item I've got no issues with the brakes so I'm not going to take the pistons out so I'm going to clean that all up and then just mask the bits I'm painting so the bits I'm definitely not painting is round the top the bleed nipple I'm going to remove that give it a good clean I've got to tap the right size, I'm going to make sure that's all good. Top where the hose goes in, obviously round those interference parts. Where the pads actually sit, I'm not going to paint those bits, nor round the actual boot. But I'll clean all that up. I'm using this old Black & Decker Workmate because it pretty much lives outside. Uh, it's just a lot more white for you to be able to see what's going on been using the vice inside and these things are very durable and they're great and I like working outside very aggressive wire wheel so with the aluminium you've got to be careful because that is strong that wears out before it actually snaps but something like this I'll be able to clean up looking pretty much clean and it's very hard to say that that looks clean compared with how it was it's really roughed up all I'm going to do now is clean it over with some brake cleaner and then get the etch primer on I'm going to go through it all with etch primer so I thought it by the litre and, then you, and you mix it with the, the thinners so instead of using a great big cup I'm going to use a lid and an old Calpol syringe just to do my 50-50 mix because I'm not making massive amounts to paint all these calipers and stuff and I can always make more otherwise there's going to be waste if you're only using it very very occasionally and this may be the only time you can buy etch primer a little bit more expensive in a little aerosol can and use that to spray on it's more cost if more cost effective way of doing it
colour you were expecting, but they've come out quite well, haven't they? So what I've done was actually mock up the caliper and the wheel back together and just spent the day looking at it to see whether I could live with it or not, whether it was a good choice or not. Do you know what? It just doesn't look as uh, manly enough. Mm. So we're going to paint him a different colour. I'm going to do that this morning while the sun's out. Luckily they're painted so all I'm going to do is degrease them, probably scuff up just the outside. blue isn't it a little bit more brake like a little bit more assertive so what color is it i'll call call it my inspiration thomas the tank engine blue or as it's also known vw motorsport blue so just while the paint's curing i'm going to go through all the bits where the pad actually sits make sure there's no build up of paint because that's the sort of thing that's going to cause the pads to bind and stick and then cause you issues so you've got to be very careful when you're painting so also while you're painting you could either do this on the car with a brush or a rattle can or actually take the pads off and the caliper and do that over with rattle cans as well i'm lucky enough to have a little small touch-up gun which is doing small work perfect for stuff like this you can get all little nooks and crannies but you could actually do an airbrush if you've got an airbrush It'd take a lot more time the only other thing worth noting I'm definitely going to put some masking tape on and a cloth when I build it all back up because the last thing I want to do is actually damage or mark any of these I've spent that much time cleaning and painting them or when you put the wheel on because it's dead easy to put the wheel on and then sort of drop it and it lands on the caliper and a normal caliper you wouldn't be that bothered because you would never see the mark would you so the second method is probably a little bit more mainstream where it actually involves clean cleaning and painting it all while it's still attached to the vehicle which is to be honest a lot more simpler the other version does make it a better result so i'm going to be using hammerite now i'm not saying this is an old tin but when was the last time we seen that tin i have no idea how old this is so if you've got a clue just leave it in the comments below and don't just say it's old i know it's old but it's still running and it still works so i'm going to clean it this meticulously using three things wire brush a drill with little wire attachments in and lots of brake cleaner I'm trying to get it as clean as possible with hammerite you don't need to use any primers or anything so let's get on get it clean difference to it a couple of days ago I did pressure wash the old vehicle and paid particular attention to inside the wheels trying to get as much dust out the, the brakes as possible I'm always keep on top of it but anyway let's go over the brake cleaner that's just going to take away some of the, the rusty bits and the dust That's why it's always better to buy it by the gallon. I've seen lots of vehicles where you look through the wheels and you see the calibers have been painted and they're such an awful job. So let's try and avoid that. So a couple of things you do not do. If you're doing the front brakes and there's a little spring pin, take the spring pin out, paint them, then put the spring pin back. But you do, don't paint all the contact surfaces. Uh, on something like this, we're gonna paint that bit of the carrier what we can see 
and the inside here do not paint the pad do not paint the spring clip do not try and throw it on realistically you don't have to paint this back bit just paint it up to where you can see put a little bit on there it's just a little bit too thick so what I'm going to do is just mix it with a little bit of thinners just make it a little bit more workable right I've finally got the consistency so all right so I think it's a little bit too thin you only have to add a little bit of spirit to it so you just want to be able to paint it on see the brush marks and let the brush marks just merge into themselves so pay particular attention there because that's the bit that people can see and I'm using quite a big brush probably see it just looks a little bit thin but what we're gonna do put two thin coats on pay particular attention to those bits the first coat on there and it says leaving 15 minutes before drying so what I'm going to do I've left it about 10 minutes so far if you just put your paint on straight on really thick it's just too thick for breaks I find that doing it a little bit thinner does work that's why the spray method is so much better if you've got the ability to do that but this it still gives you good results when you're traveling down the motorway you're still going to be able to see your colored calipers so let's get on and do the second coat Always good to do the strokes horizontally and then also vertically. Just bear in mind with brakes, you're never going to be looking straight at them, are you? You're always going to be a metre, two metres away. So you've got to be really particular about the finish and not try and go too perfect. Because remember, it's not a show car, it's a daily driver. Had a good finish here quite happy with that remember you know the closest you're going to be is two meters apart looking through a wheel so there's only so far you need to be meticulous not unless you're doing a really detailed car whereas method one probably gives better long-term results taking it back to bare metal and actually priming it that's more or less how a factory is going to do it if not factory is going to plastic coat it but that still gives good results so this is the sort of thing you like watching subscribe like the video and share it with somebody that'd be brilliant i have no idea what i'm going to be doing next but tune in anyway thanks for watching ta -da.